Maintaining battery health is key to less stress on you and the battery. When I buy an electric unicycle or a new model PEV, I usually do not like to be the beta tester. I want to see the little quirks of the wheel's performance with regards to the firmware, hardware specs, PMS, as well as the battery performance. Time and again, I have seen through the early posts of the demos and early first release models what happens. It was recently just shown with the great spectacular bonfire of the demo S20. Wow, see that's how I ride my Gotway wheels. Hello my electric rider friends. I have used several sources to compile this info. They will be linked in the description. I even talked to a lithium ion battery expert. I will also talk about the amazing light tech batteries that eWheels now use and replacing the defunct Bigode stock LGM50 LT batteries implicated in the battery fires. The light tech battery replacement is revolutionary and about time. Lithium-ion batteries do not have a memory effect. It is an effect observed in nickel-cadmium and nickel-metal hydride rechargeable batteries. When these types of nickel-cadmium batteries are repeatedly recharged after being only partially discharged, they end up holding less charge. These nickel-cadmium batteries gradually lose their maximum energy capacities. The lithium-ion batteries do not have this memory effect limitation. This means that you can charge them at any time and you can stop charging them at any time without affecting the battery life or capacity. Do not store your wheels when fully charged because its battery life will be damaged. This is because the electrodes in the battery get degraded faster when fully charged. The battery may lose some capacity which would lead to a shorter battery life. Conversely, don't store your wheels when it is fully discharged the batteries could fall into a deep discharge state which makes it incapable of holding a charge. I learned the hard way regarding this full charge storage issue with my first wheel, the Fast Wheel EVA Pro in July 2015. Within three weeks I was already getting beeps since the max speed was 12 miles per hour on a wheel named Fast Wheel. I sold this wheel three months later to upgrade. I charged to 100% and sold it to a work friend of mine to give for her husband's birthday. He decides to ride it for the first time in the kitchen, falls backward, and then makes a dent on the wall with the back of his head. The husband got turned off and discouraged. The wheel was stored for the next two years unused with almost 100% charge. My friend took it out of the closet and the wheel could not start. My bad, and too bad for my friend. It is now a heavy paperweight. Since lithium ion batteries do not have memory effect, effects caused by either overcharging or over discharging can be damaging. Overcharging can cause an explosion or a fire. On the other hand, over discharging can cause permanent damage. Bigode has been known to have discharge rates that far exceed what the stock batteries are capable of. Over discharging can happen when the rider is constantly doing rapid accelerations and decelerations as well as over torquing their wheel. Over discharging has been implicated as one of the causes of battery fire. The BMS protects the battery cells from damage caused by overcharge or over discharge. Each battery cell and chemistry has voltage, temperature, and current range within which it can safely operate. When a cell drops below or exceeds these ranges, it can be detected and controlled by the BMS. Individual cells within a battery pack do not operate equally. Cell balancing equals the charge between individual cells based on each cell's capability. It helps to monitor and control the charge demanded from each cell in the chain, ensuring that state of charge remains evenly distributed.
After about 500 charge and discharge cycles, a battery will lose about 20% capacity. Other factors play a role that will affect the battery life. Operating temperature and storage temperature. Used and stored at extremes of temperature is not good. Charging below 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius causes a chemical reaction in the battery cells that can cause permanent damage and the possibility of fire or explosion during charging. Please store and use lithium ion batteries in the temperature range of 4 to 35 degrees Celsius. Lower temperatures do not reduce the service life but does affect the capacity, while higher temperatures will permanently decrease the life of the cells. The depth of discharge has a huge impact on the life of lithium ion cells. This chart shows that the lower the depth of discharge, the longer the lifespan. But it is also difficult to use only 20% of your charge every time you ride your wheel. However, you can fluctuate around 50% to quadruple the lifespan. Another factor to consider is the state of charge. The charge level of the cell is a very important factor affecting the lifespan of batteries. The tests show that charging up to 80 to 85 percent makes a dramatic difference in the lifespan of batteries. I see a weakness in this thinking. Cell balancing occurs in the last 5 percent of the charge. Charging to 85 percent every time will not let the phase of cell balancing kick in, which is vital to battery health. Realistically, we keep our wheels for roughly three to four years. Charging the wheel even once a week would result in roughly 200 charge cycles by four years. Selling it four years later, the buyer would still get a wheel with a decent battery health with still 300 good charge cycles available. So don't worry, just charge to full every time and wait two to three hours after the light turns green to enable the balancing to occur. How else can we maintain the battery? Charge as well as starting your battery at normal room temperature. Lithium ion batteries don't like the extremes of temperature. Charging at extremes of temperature can cause degradation of battery components. Let your wheel cool down or warm up to room temperature before commencing charging. Charging should be between 50 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Charge the wheel to 100% about 12 to 24 hours prior to starting a ride. Use a certified standard charger for routine charging instead of using a fast charger. If you have to use the fast charger once in a while, the e-wheel sells, it is okay. Maintain the wheel to keep it clean so that proper airflow is possible. Preventing water intrusion or high humidity. Being nearby when charging. Charge in a fire safe area. For maximum safety, use a metal trash can or a fire sack. Avoiding severe rapid discharge rates such as prolonged high speed, high torquing your wheel. For optimal battery safety, I would recommend the bigger battery packs or the new upgraded LiTech batteries that e-wheels now have in their new EUCs. Let's talk about the LiTech features. LiTech monitors the temperature of the battery pack all the time with five times temperature probes. It consists of automated spot welding, error condition buzzer that will go off if the temperature of the battery pack exceeds 65 degrees Celsius and the BMS in the pack will shut down after 75 Celsius to prevent risk of a thermal runaway. The LiTech packs are using thicker nickel to connect the cells together. These are computer machine welded for more accurate, consistent connections. These use LiTech BMS to make sure to prevent over voltage, over current, under voltage. This LiTech has voltage differential management, which can regulate the voltage between one or more packs. LiTech is using more reliable cells lacking huge voltage discrepancies or sags, inconsistent capacities,
which were common in the cheap Chinese batteries that Bigode had in their stock batteries. Which light tech pack is right for you? The Molosel P42A or the Samsung 50E2? The P42A are about twice as powerful than the 50E, despite having lower total capacity. Based on the graphs for the 50E and P42A, we can see that there is significant voltage sag when discharging at the higher amps towards 15 amps for the 50E2. However, in the P42A, the bands are tighter packed holding higher voltage even towards 20 amps and 30 amps. If you are a fast rider zipping around the city, or just the average conservative rider going from A to B, then the Samsung 50E will be able to handle that riding style. If you are a heavier rider that likes to do jumps and performance riding, doing extreme rates of acceleration and deceleration, heavy torquing on hill climbing, a fanatic on safety more so than range, then the Malacel would be perfect for you. I posed questions to battery expert Ronald Butler. Can a battery fire occur when a PEV is not charging and is not being ridden? If so, why would it occur? A battery fire can indeed occur when a battery is not in active use. As a matter of fact, many failures are associated with off-charge or disengaged from use modalities. There are a number of failure modes that can serve as points of initiation for a thermal runaway event. These include, but are not limited to, short circuit, overcharge, over discharge, very interesting manufacturing defects, external overheating, exposure to an external heat source, exposure to cold temperatures, drops and mishandling, and more. Most available research informs us that active engagement of the battery, e.g. charge, discharge, cycling, and active current draw, etc., frequently accompany failure events. However, this doesn't have to be the case. Opportunity for failure is ever present. The second question I ask is, what is the mechanism for a thermal runaway to occur when it is charging or being ridden? Though the data that would allow us to determine the frequency of failure cause eludes us limited availability, we can draw on some clues. The mechanisms you query are generally focused on short-circuiting in some form or fashion. This is a controversial position for me to take because of the dearth of information. However, when we examine failures, at least anecdotally, short-circuit-related failures are often found with batteries in use. So there you have it, folks. Never charge your wheel unattended. Be nearby. Charge in a safe area. Use a fire sack. Maintain your batteries well. So I hope you found this video helpful. I am currently riding on my M103. I removed the batteries on my Nikola to have them disposed of. Jason of eWheels is going to send me the upgraded batteries, the Samsung 50E2s. I am really looking forward to those batteries. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. I would appreciate it and it would really help me out. Thanks for watching and until next time.